Hello there, my name is Nala FOS, and I don't know what FOS stands for. So, I wanted to go ahead and talk about something that I've seen a lot on my social media, whether it be YouTube, or Twitter, or anything like that, and this fan base is called Country Humans. So, I did a little bit of research on this fan base. And I have no idea where it spawned from. I have no idea who created it, but my guess is kind of like how it, it, it kind of falls into the lines of object heads where it just kind of came out of nowhere or it was a thing that has been speculated on and then just popped into this gigantic fan base. Um, but yeah, I don't know who made it. And I will say, giant disclaimer before I start this video, before I start this rant, I have no problems with whoever created it. I don't know who created it. I, I, the thing that I'm drawing right now, it is for education purposes, and, like I guess education purposes, because I want, I want people to see it how I interpret it instantly. Um, I also wanted to go ahead and say, no, I'm not a basic white girl complaining that this is racist to black people or to whoever people or whatever. I am black, I am also white, I am also Asian. I, I'm i not exactly sure what part of ethnicity I come into when it comes to French, Spanish, that kind of stuff, but I do know that I have a little bit of German blood and that's one of the main reasons why I'm making this video. Um, but I'll get into that in just a moment. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I've covered mostly all all the disclaimers out of the way um but yeah just just open open your mind a little bit if you are a country human fan that's great but i want you to realize i want you to to uh get get it from my pov i suppose now if you've seen my baldy video which where i talk about uh how i think that baldy cringe culture during that time was really unfair and really stupid. Um, if you've seen that video, you'll know that I personally, I cannot stand cringe culture. Cringe culture is dead in, in my eyes. I've never really liked it. It's just something that rubs me the wrong way and it just bullies people for liking things that they, that they like, that they enjoy. If you're not harming anybody, I don't see why should I don't see why you should quit something however um however I personally I'm not a big fan on this concept and I think like okay like don't get me wrong I love the idea of making characters out of company ideas or not out of company ideas out of like logos or, or things like that like when people went and anthropomorph anthropomorphous anthrop it, what the, when they went and turned the Twitter bird into a furry, I thought that shit was funny. I thought that was really funny and hilarious because Twitter was like, don't anthropomorph- uh, Fuck! Uh, whatever. <laughs> and they did it anyway, and that was just really funny to me. But when you go and you take a country and you make it stereotypically as bad and stilted as possible- you do come off as a racist, or you do come off as somebody who is just kind of a dick. Like, I, I, like I said before, I am multiracial. I get jokes about playing basketball and drinking grape soda and eating watermelon. And I'll have friends who even make ching chong jokes because I'm Asian. And... You know, it it's annoying. It's really annoying. And I'm not trying to I'm not going to start a race war or anything like that, but I'm saying this as an example that stereotypes aren't exactly funny. I like obviously humor is very subjective, but a stereotype is made to go and to beat down on whatever that race or culture may be. For example, 
with um, Americans, obviously, there's the huge stereotype that we're all obese, we all love McDonald's, and we all hold 12 shotguns in one hand. And, and we all love Donald Trump. And obviously, that's not the case. It's, it's a stupid stereotype. And then, like, for, for Europeans, or, sorry, for the British, it, like, the joke is that they always have crooked teeth, or, or they, they always like biscuits and scones and chips and fish and whatever. And it's really dumb. It's really dumb and annoying. And I personally, I just don't get it. Now, as somebody with German blood, which I, again, I've stated before, I think that if you symbolize the lowest time in a country's history and turn it into a character, I think that's just absolutely appalling and kind of disgusting, especially when Nazi Germany was a terrifying time to, to be living within Germany. And it's just that people, people lost their lives and they, they cowered in fear for their own safety because of their bloodline, because of their religion, because of who they were. And that's not, that's not cool. And like, it just, just, why Nazi Germany? Why? Like, I, I don't, again, I don't know the storyline for, for the whole, for the whole country humans thing. So I don't know if it 100% goes down to history and how it goes down to if it, if it falls into history or not, or if it's just making shit up just to make shit up. I don't know. And frankly, I don't care. I just want a singular answer to this one question, which I've been saying to every single country human fan I've run into. If it does follow history, does this mean that the America character, which I've seen so many times and I've seen them be like drawn in smut and all this other type of stuff, does this mean that they will have a Great Depression era, a, a KKK moment, a 9-11 moment, does this like does that mean that they're going to turn into some different personality type shit like that? Does this mean that Japan is going to have their own Pearl Harbor and Rape of Nanjing and just just a bunch of awful awful shit that's happened to them? It raises so many questions cuz if you're going to take a country, turn it into a human per se, um even though it is just the symbol uh, symbol it's just a symbol and then just plastering it on somebody's face if you're going to do that you need to follow some i'm not gonna say follow some rules because obviously if you make a character it's your character you do whatever you want as long as it's not harming anybody but if you go and you make a stereotypical character the a stereotype guess what there's going to be people affected by that the reason why germany has banned like swats swatsikas and have banned like the whole the whole Nazi thing is because they do not want to glance over that again. If it's like that's why America, even though I personally I think it's kind of dumb, but that's why America is trying to get rid of uh, Confederate flags or they're trying to they're trying to hush up the things within history because they don't want to look on that again. Obviously, we're relearning history, but this is not the way to do it. If you want to learn about Nazi Germany, read a book, watch a watch a documentary about it. Do not use it and create your character based on this personification of Germany and then try and write it off as a good character, a character that's just misunderstood. And maybe this is just the fan saying that the character is just misunderstood. But you're not you're not proving you're not making a good example on yourself if you do not clarify these things within your own fan base. If you don't go and specifically state, hey, this is wrong, or hey, this is bad, or whatever, you're not you're not helping them. If you go to a child, if you if you have a child and because I'm going to only assume that most of the the uh, country human fan base is within 13 maybe to 16 range of, of age if you go to a child and you say hey 
don't do drugs and you explain to that child why you shouldn't do drugs and things like that there is a guarantee that maybe will not go it like it will not maybe there's a good chance that it won't sink into their head but at least you told them at least you tried to tell them at least you tried to make it clear that it's bad now i'm i'm pretty much done with my rant most it was mostly about how 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 nazi germany was a thing it just it still appalls me i'm still just like what (laughs) i'm like like i go and and it sucks because i'll go and i'll try to look up just random animation random animation memes of anything and i'll get nazi germany just there and it'll be like it'll be something like suggestive like a senpai mean or, or mean mean meme and it's just why 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 <laughs> all right but yeah that is pretty much all i wanted to say obviously this video is not scripted so i did stumble over my words a whole bunch and i just wanted to get that off my chest and yeah that's, that's pretty much it also just letting you know i will try and get onto a basic schedule like i'll post every every couple of days or so um i am trying to work more on animation if you saw that i did release a a animation may may i suppose it's not really a meme but eh. anywho thank you for watching if you hate this video, that's cool. Please dislike it. And if you like the video, then I, thank you. <laughs> Normally people don't like my videos, so uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> but other than that, thank you for watching and have have a good day, I suppose. Or night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>